Hi, thanks so much for coming, Alex. And um, I guess you're enjoying the summer at the moment, correct? Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. And it's very kind of you to like stop your summer um, fun and come in and have a chat with us here. Um, and I know that you're very involved in the um, fintech area because you have been on our fintech panels. And I'm wondering um, what you think about what's happening with Bitcoin at the moment. <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Um, I mean, it's complicated, and I don't think anyone truly knows or you know can say with certainty what's going to happen. Yeah. I think what's interesting about it is probably one of the few sort of fundamental fundamental transformational technologies that have come about in the past few years that are actually applicable to fintech. And machine learning is one of those. There's a few others. But really, this is sort of, uh, it could very well be a game changer in terms of how things work. Whether or not, I think the big question for us from as, uh, as investors is sort of where, you know, are, is this the current crop of startups or even currencies that are going to be the, the instruments of the future? Or are we going to have sort of a phase two and a phase three and a phase four where we won't see mass adoption until sort of this crop of organizations sort of rises and falls. Uh, so I think that's made the sort of thinking through it a little bit challenging. We are investors in Ripple, uh, proud investors. They're very focused on, I mean, they're, they're their own cryptocurrency, but they're very focused on integrating with banks, solving very specific use cases, which for us, we're, we're big fans of. We want to see uh, co companies that use the blockchain or use cryptocurrency really nail a use case and don't just sort of approach blockchain like, you know, a hammer looking for a nail. And uh, there's a huge crop of ICOs at the moment, and I know I've been reading that um, a lot of VCs feel like they might be pushed out because um, some of the startups that are raising um, money with ICOs are actually not needing venture anymore. What do you think is going to happen to the playing field with this new piece coming in? Yeah, I think it's a <clears throat> it's a definitely a great question. I, for, my take on it is you're not going to get rid of a professional investor, just the same way that I think you know, my, my parents shouldn't be picking stocks. I don't think everyday people should be picking startups. So th there tends, I think, you know, the, the economy tends towards specialization. Okay. Now, in terms of the vehicle of the ICO, I think we have to see what happens. Um, I think we have to evaluate these businesses that, like you would evaluate any other business. So part of the question is, you know, would you know, how much would you want to invest in a company pre-product, pre-market, you know? And all of those sorts of constraints, I think, apply just as much to blockchain businesses as they do to non-blockchain businesses. Yeah. Uh, so I do think there's going to be a lot of investors who are going to lose their shirts on some of these deals. I think some of them hopefully are phenomenally successful, as we'll the same, same way you would see in traditional venture capital. Obviously, there's some very serious legal implications of this whole thing, and okay. whether you're talking about something that's actually a security and whether that should be regulated, that could have big impacts on this whole fundraising strategy. If you're just buying, uh, you know, sort of a pre-sale token um, that represents sort of a product as opposed to an actual interest in the underlying organization, then that's probably okay. But then the question is sort of what are you buying and is that worth as much as buying equity into the business? Uh, and But you know, all in all, I think the fact that these things are liquid instruments is great and that should reduce the cost of capital for these startups to be able to raise. And I fully expect that in the future, VCs are participating in these ICOs just as we've already seen mm -hmm. funds set up just to invest in ICOs. And I was wondering just as a, a human in the ecosystem that it may, um, level the playing field a little bit more. So um, when I first came here seven years ago, of course, the venture capitalists were sort of like the gods in, in the ecosystem and everyone, you know, would kowtow to them. And what this article was suggesting is that there's going to be an equalising effect um, if more money is coming into the startups through ICOs and they have other options. However, having read that, I mean, I've also been through the whole crowdfunding <laughs> piece, which was going to change everything. And I don't know how much. And what's your perspective on this? Well, I hope it does. I hope it levels the playing field a bit. And, you know, I, I, like I said, I do think that investors will tend to specialize overall. Yeah. Um, and say when you see that in the equity markets, you know, most of, most of the capital invested in public equities are still controlled by institutions, They're, even though retail investors have access. So I think in this case, you will still see that specialization, but maybe we'll be better at identifying who are the good VCs because anyone has the opportunity to participate. Yeah. Um, and I do think, you know, like I said, liquidity, transparency, all of those things in any sort of market I think are helpful for everyone. Yeah. 
And um, the Bitcoin price has um, shot up incredibly uh, um, the past weeks. Is there, what do you think is going to happen with that? What's the future? So, you know, I, I hesitate to speculate on short-term uh, currency moves. I think that's challenging. Uh, for and, and anyone. For anyone, exactly. I think, you know, there's a lot of this is, is, is obviously speculation. We all know that that's driving a lot of the movement. Uh, will this be around 10, 20 years from now? Like I said, I'm, I'm positive that some form of crypto will be around and will, be, will have a meaningful impact on technology and very likely our economy more broadly. Whether Bitcoin as is, is that currency, I think is TBD. Um, and even if it is, what kinds of swings will it go through up until then? Still TBD. So I think it behooves everyone to own a little bit of cryptocurrency, especially if you're sort of risk tolerant and you're thinking about this. But I don't think people should just be day trading it. Right. Okay. Well, thanks very much. And um, I'm looking forward to the conversation tonight. Um, obviously, from your perspective, with the types of startups that you work with, uh, it'd be interesting to hear all about the early stage investing. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it as well. Thanks.